स्टूडेंट माई सेल्फ अजय मिश्रा सर दिस इज क्लास फोर साइंस पीरियड एंड वी ऑल आर गोइंग ऑन रिविजन स्टडी वी रिवाइज चैप्टर नाइन एनिमल्स एंड देयर यंग वंस सम पार्ट्स आर लेफ्ट टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन दीज पार्ट्स सो प्लीज वॉच दिस वीडियो केयरफुल्ली स्टडी वी ऑलरेडी लर्न अबाउट द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एन एग and today i am going to start about the frog <coughs> animals like frogs and fishes lay eggs in water a frog lay eggs in a large cluster called a spawns they are called a spawns that float on water the egg of a female frog develops into an embryo a tadpole hatches out of the egg after the development period it has gills and a tail and looks very different from an adult frog as it keeps growing it tells vanishes and the tadpole develops into an adult frog with legs thus a tadpole undergoes several changes before it became an adult the process by which a young frog young form undergoes a complete change to develop into an adult form is called metamorphosis this process is called the development of frog from a dead pole to adult frog this process is called metamorphosis well first the cluster of eggs that is called a spawns after then a single egg then tadpole tadpole looks like a fish because they have tails also and several development that process is known as metamorphosis it's became in adult frog is that clear now about the butterfly butterfly and insect hatch all insects hatch from eggs some insects such as butterflies have four stages of their life cycle a female butterfly lays eggs on leaves a butterfly's egg hatches into a caterpillar it looks like a worm and it called a larva the larva eats a lot of leaves and grows rapidly after some time it has stop eating and shed its skin shedding of old skin is known as molting the caterpillar forms a covering called pupa around itself the caterpillar undergoes several changes inside the pupa in the last stage the pupa burst open and a beautiful butterfly comes out of it this is the life cycle of a butterfly first egg then caterpillar then cover itself that is called pupa and several changes at last stage that became a beautiful butterfly is that clear i also sent a short video regarding this chapter so please watch that video now we have to know about the life cycle of a cockroach it is also insect insects such as cockroaches and dragon flies have three stages in their life cycle butterfly have four stages but cockroach have three stages a female cockroach lay eggs which hatch into baby cockroach a baby cockroach is called a nymph a baby cockroach is called a nymph it looks similar to the parent it looks similar to the parents but in frog life cycle toads are not as same as their adult 
बट इन कॉकरोच दे लुक लाइक सिमिलर टू देयर पेरेंट्स द बेबी कॉकरोच सेड स्किन एंड चेंज इन टू एन एडल्ट विथ विंग्स ओके ओनली थ्री स्टेजेस एग निम्फ एंड देन एडल्ट बटरफ्लाई Clear. Now about the true false knowledge check. Birds and frog frog lay eggs. That is true. Pupa is a stage in the life cycle of birds. That is false. That is life cycle in butterfly. The growing baby inside an egg is called an embryo. True. Frogs lay eggs in large cluster. That is true. A baby insect is called a nymph. That is also true. Now about the animals that give birth to young ones. They are birds and insects. Now about the animals. Animals that give birth to their young ones are known as mammals. We all are known as mammals. Who they give birth? They are known as mammals. These animals feed their babies on their milk. these animal feed their babies on their milk mammals have well developed brain and hair on their bodies they have well developed brain and hair on their bodies they breathe through their lungs dogs cats cows elephant horses zebra deer and human beings are the some examples of mammals whales and dolphins are mammals found in water they do not have hair on their body whale and dolphin also give birth not laying eggs but they live in water known as fish but they are exception they give birth of their babies okay now about how taking care of young ones You must have seen how dogs and cats look after their young ones all mammals take care of their young ones the mother feeds the babies cleans them and keep them warm mammals look after their babies for a long period of time most of them build houses and protect their babies from enemies as the babies grow the parents teach them to look for food on their own birds too care of their babies they build nests to protect their babies and keep them warm they get good food they get food for their babies and look after them till they are able to fly okay now this chapter completed i hope you all understand watch this video and try to understand and you all have to learn the given keywords reproduction albumen yolk life cycle metamorphosis molting pupa and nymph as well as you also learn given book works and question answer already written to so you learn this question answer and book work okay and i also sent a short video regarding this chapter so please watch this video thank you very much